I got more than 40 divines, have more than 330 guardian maps, got many many big drops including unnatural instinct, have 20 maven fight and the list goes on. What's up guys, Pidget here. If you want to make that much currency easily, you need a good atlas thread. Your atlas tree wheel looks like this. We start in the middle and go up. Here you can make a choice. What master missions you want by farming maps. Your choice is not really matter in terms of atlas points. So if you want June or Nico, take the right side. If you want Ahar or Alva, take the left side. Your next goal is shaping the skies and shaping the mountains. You allocate these no tables for map sustain and for the chance to get special crafting options and free crafting options to your map device. I get many many free and special options as you can see here. I run a lot of maps to this point. From now we are taking almost all the small nodes that gives us chance to duplicate our maps that drops from monsters and mob bosses. This is works with all the maps. We are maps from bosses and this bonus applies to Conqueror, Shaper and Elder Guardian maps. I like the extra Kirak mission each day because it's only one point why we also get extra chance to get Kirak mission on map completion. We also taking all the map modifier effect nodes as well and the item quantity nodes here. Now we have the base of our atlas tree. This atlas tree focusing on using two keystone. The first is the new maven keystone, destructive play. You need to invite the maven to your maps and she will summon extra random map bosses. This map bosses does not count to the invitation count set, but these bosses can all drop Cirrus, Shaper and Elder Guardian mobs and Synthesis mobs as well. Also these bosses all have chance to drop a Maven invitation. This is why we take the extra chances here. We will also take all the extra chance for the Guardian mobs, Vivid Memories for the Synthesis mobs, Remains of the Past for Elder and Shaper Guardian mobs and Conqueror Conquerors for Cirrus Guardian maps. The other keystone I want to talk about the Extreme Archaeology. Most of the time I don't like doing doing expeditions because it can take long time to set up the explosion. But with this keystone I don't need to read because my beard can handle all mods easily. Ok only the immune to chaos damage is a brick for me but every other mod like doesn't exist. We taking almost all expedition nodes starting with the ancient varietings, distinguished, demolished. I don't take these little nodes here because I'm using one signal scarab on every map so I force the expedition to my maps. The other nodes we take for expedition scratching up the ground and noble quest. Of course you can take the others if you like Rogue or Gwen, it's up to you. Buried knowledge. I didn't take the small notes here. Also on this part I take shaping the words as well for map sustain. This is our atlas tree, I will link this in the description. Because we inviting Maven on our maps, we can't run the same map over and over because she can't witness the same map boss. So we need good layout maps. The maps I'm running in one rotation is the following. Dunes, Glacier. Iceberg, Misa, Mudgeyser, Racecourse, Strand, Wharf, Beach, Tropical Island, Underground Sea, Ticket, Courthouse. Sometimes you will get lucky and you will get another random boss witness by completing your map with Maven. Then you can skip Ticket or Courthouse. I'm also favored a few maps to increase the drop chance. The maps is the following. Wharf, Strand, Glacier, Racecourse, Underground Sea, Tropical Island, Beach, Iceberg, Dunes, Mudgeyser, Misa. Of course, if you like other maps, you can switch to it. This was my favorite maps. Preparing for a signal run. Just take out 10 maps from the stash tab that I mentioned earlier. Quality up to 20% if you want. Arc it and go. Of course, if your beard can't run reflect map mod, roll over. My beard can run all map mods without a problem, so I just arc and go without looking at them. Also, take 10 expedition scarabs and put in your map device and start mapping. One full beaver run for me is around 15 minutes. This speed depends on your beard. My beard is very fast as you can see. When you done the 10 maps or maybe less if you got lucky with the most toys notable. Put the maven invitation atlas in and run. Walk it and see if your beard can run it or not. Go and beat it. The rewards will scare with the quantity. You will get one or two crescent splinter. Also you can get guardian maps from this. My record was seven map from one single encounter. Let's talk about profits and big drops. How many guardian maps I got? Well, I ran too many maps. I didn't count how many. So all the guardian maps I got you can see here at the map counter. 330. This is around 30 or 40 divines worth maps. If I sell 
it in bulk on TFT, but I will not sell it, because I want to run these maps when I start streaming in this league. This number could be more, but I run a few for the boss showcases for my build. We also got a few unique synthesis, 4 altered distance memory, 8 augment distance memory, 4 cortex. I got much more than this, but I'm always running at least one with my builds to show it to you guys. 9 rewrite and distant memory and 3 twisted distant memory. Also I got one poultry coaster and one twilight temple map. The normal maps is much much more, I will not go over all the maps, but in short, the map sustain is not a problem for this strategy, because we do in Maven invitations we get many crash and splinters as well. Right now I have 20 full Maven with. I had more, but I ran a few for the build showcases. Also you can see, I have more than 10 normal Elder run as well. We also getting invitations from bosses. I got at least one from every invitation. Formed, Hidden, Elder Slayers, Feared and Twisted. And bunch of normal invitations as well. I have big loot tab. Inside this tab, I have 3 Voidborn key, I got unnatural instinct jewel drop from boss, a few awakened gems. I got awakened void manipulation drop, but I've sold it for free divine. Also I got a few rare card drops. This is mainly from random source, mostly diviner box. 2 divine beauty, 2 endless darkness, 2 7 years of bad luck, 1 nurse, and one Dorian's epiphany. Also, while I was leveling, I got Albino Roa Feeder. This is not a bus drop, just cool to get this. My currency tops looks like this. I got many, many raw divine drops and other currency. Also, I used the expedition currency for get this much currency. So this is not all map drops. Speaking about expeditions, my expedition locker looks like this. I didn't skip a single encounter, only the one where I can't run because the monsters got immune to chaos damage. I got many sun logbooks while doing expeditions and black skita as well. I ran around 20 of this because I had a full locker. This strategy is easy and relaxing. Most of the time I just watch films on my other monitor and did not pay attention to the game. Also this is nearly zero investment strategy. Just need to buy expedition scarabs. But that's it. I paid 1 chaos per scarab. I hope they will not nerf somehow this strat because it's too fun. And when you get like 6 map drops from a single encounter, it's just music to my ears. I hope you enjoyed this video about my very low investment atlas strat. If you have any question, please leave a comment below. Also, I would like to say to thank you for my Patreons for supporting me. Thanks again guys. Thanks for watching, I was Bridget, see you next time.